What? Brooklyn hasn't amended Bailey's birth certificate. Nope. I haven't received notification your name's been removed, which means as far as the court's concerned, legally you are still responsible for it, as her father. Excuse me. Okay. Why haven't you and Brooklyn changed Bailey's birth certificate? Austin must be remembering fake Chloe. No, I don't think so. I mean, I don't know why I feel that way, but I don't think so. You want to close your eyes, maybe, and try to remember? Wait, no, he was knocked unconscious. He's not going to remember anything. Shh, Maxie, this could be a breakthrough. Just take her. Oh, you want to say goodbye? If I say goodbye to her, then I'm not going to be able to let her go. There were two voices. Yes, me and, and fake Chloe arguing. I was yelling at her to leave my daughter alone. I don't think so. The tone was more conversational. The person that took Louise was in this clearing. Okay. Well, you, you got me at a loss. I didn't realize Brooklyn hadn't changed the birth certificate yet. But I'll be sure to mention it to her. Chase, this cavalier attitude is very disconcerting. You do realize that I'm still legally Bailey's father, with all the privileges and responsibilities attached. Well, I'm sure Brooklyn started the process, and it just hasn't gone through yet. But thank you for bringing it to my attention. Well, no bloodshed. Kudos to you. Martin, is it a complicated process to change the father's name on a baby's birth certificate? No, that's why I brought it up. All Brooklyn has to do is notarize and file proper form with a registry of vital records, along with proof of Chase's paternity. Unless, of course, there is no proof that Chase is Bailey's father. 